As public health units craft their rollout plans, there is renewed energy at some distribution centers. So is on the front line saying they will be ready no matter what the directive. CTV's Natalie Johnson is live with more. Natalie. Hi, Zoraida. Well, we now know that a select group of frontline workers will be among those getting the first dose of the vaccine this week, thanks to that rebound in supply, though there are still a lot of questions about the logistics of the rollout in the coming weeks. At one of the University Health Network's vaccination clinics, the setup is there, ready for more healthcare workers once the supply arrives, as frontline workers watch and wait. It's been really, really slow. I work in a hospital, and even hospital workers are super, getting it super slowly. Just hope the whole population in Toronto and Canada can get it as fast as possible. But with a surge in supply this week, the waiting game is soon over for another batch of high-priority workers. The vaccination of Toronto frontline firefighters who are directly involved in medical incident response began this morning at Michael Guerin Hospital. Toronto paramedic vaccinations will resume tomorrow at Humber River Hospital and Sunnybrook. Other frontline workers who will get their first dose this week include needle exchange and supervised consumption site staff, mobile COVID-19 testing teams, community health centre staff, acute care workers, and prioritized home and community care workers. Officials say five of nine city-run mass immunization clinics have now been set up and staff are already being hired and trained. All aspects of our clinic deployment plans are on target and I am confident that we will be ready to go on or before the target date of April 1. Seniors aged 80 and up are expected to get their first dose starting in mid-March and the province says they will be contacted directly. But the Ontario Medical Association says its members are still waiting for information to provide to their patients. We're a, a little, um, as it were, in the dark, waiting for some of the details that we think will be essential. Uh, the physicians of Ontario are uh, very committed to playing whatever part they can in making this successful. Um, and, but there's some key details that we would look forward to, hopefully in the near future. Toronto's Medical Officer of Health says that part of the plan is still an ongoing discussion with the province. And some positive news tonight about the effect of the vaccine in Toronto long-term care homes. Toronto Public Health has seen a big drop in the positivity rate in LTCs from nearly 11% back in November down to 0.6% at the beginning of February. Reporting live at Michael Guerin, I'm Natalie Johnson. Michelle, over to you. Thank you, Natalie. Meanwhile, the number of new cases of COVID-19 remains above the 1,000 mark in this province. Public Health Ontario was reporting 1,058 new infections in its most recent update. Nearly 295,000 cases have been logged since the start of the pandemic. 11 more deaths are linked to the virus, putting that figure at 6,872. And nearly 277,000 cases are considered resolved. The regional breakdown looks like this, with the City of Toronto reporting 325 new cases. Peel Region has 215, 87 in York Region. Hamilton has 56 new illnesses, 45 in Durham Region, 28 in Halton, and 14 in Niagara.